What's going on guys? Welcome back to another update in the garage room. Uh, we're going to start over this side and as you can see, got some baby plecos already eating some of the cucumbers I threw in here earlier. They want that cucumber. Um, tank's looking good. We actually got some new fry. This is some, um, oh, really blurry now, but kind of see them in the corner here, right there. So that's uh, some peppermint. Uh, they had a very small uh, clutch of eggs that got knocked out of the cave and I grabbed a couple of them and threw them in here It looked like only maybe five of them actually hatched out of like maybe I think there was like maybe eight or ten or so um, Not a lot um, in this batch, but I, I'm gonna go check because I've been doing water changes the water has been really cold So I think we're gonna have a lot more spawns um, uh, This year and then we got to the blue dream. I actually moved some blue dreams down here um, some additional ones, so we're slowly adding more blue dreams into this tank um, and just letting this colony grow. You can kind of see them over here, just kind of all over here. And for this week, we'll probably add a little bit more. Um, I'll have to call it a little bit later and, and we'll, we'll just add it in there. But I'll have to double check because I think I saw one die um, in the back somewhere earlier, so I'm gonna check that guy. The little guys in here are growing pretty well, got some glare, but. That's okay. There we go. These guys are growing really decently. These guys are big enough to be removed, so I'll have to remove them um, in a little bit once I kind of place the camera down. We'll kind of let them roam in here. Looks like they're doing okay or settling in a little bit. We do have some cloudy eye on a couple of them from, um, I guess, the transition from moving them from bucket or whatever. Um, and then the. <laughs> The plants, they're ripping them up, so they're not really growing them in. And these ones are kind of looking like, kind of sad. Um, but yeah, they, they ripped up a lot of the, um, the uh, Blix of Japonicas. So we'll, uh, we'll have to, to see what happens. And they, they keep ripping up the, um, uh, and also they keep ripping up the, um, the other stems that aren't rooted yet. So it's, uh, it's going to be a challenge uh, to, to get these guys in here. But other than that, you know, tank's doing decent. And then moving on to the other side, uh, quickly, um, this is the neon yellow tank. This is the main tank. Tank's doing okay. Nothing really, um, looks like the numbers kind of have dropped a little bit. Um, you know, after you know, calling a little bit, but not much, not much going on there. We have um, the Wabikusa tank. So we have a couple updates to give you guys here. So for whatever reason, these two sides here, not doing well. The hair grass completely died back, but I think there's like a one little, little uh, one that survives. So if that one survives, I'm pretty sure it'll grow back, but we need to miss it in a little bit here. So once I put down the camera, I'll definitely miss it. Um, the Laguiga whites did not make it. The chai plants, uh, they are doing pretty decently. So I think that they'll survive. The down in the back are doing good. And then the Monte Carlo in the back is doing good. I added two um, shrimps in here. Uh, from here, the call just to kind of get this kind of tank cycling. Um, I don't see them. I can't point them out, but they might be in the back somewhere. Yesterday, I saw them kind of coming out to eat, so they were doing okay. Um, and this is the, the tank that is quarantining the new shrimp. So far, looking good. I don't see anything um, with the shrimp. So maybe in the next week or so, if they look good, I'll separate the yellow neons here into this tank. So that way we have a separation. And then what I'll do is I'll introduce a couple of um, the existing ones into the uh, quarantine tank just to make sure that they interact, you know, good mm -hmm. and, and fine without any like disease that they might transfer to the other shrimps. Call tank, doing okay. Some of the babies are growing. I gotta still separate some of my babies here. So we still have some of the tiger pluckos in here along with the starlights are in here and somewhere in the back. Moving down here to the main colony tank, it looks like we are slowly recovering. Uh, I did add in some more shrimps into this tank. They haven't really uh, taken off, um, but during the winter months here when it's a little bit cooler, I think that will definitely take off. Um, but I'm just gonna let them kinda recover, hang out, and just you know continue with the water changes uh, to make sure everything's a-okay in this tank. All right, so let's talk about the pleco rack. We do have uh, an issue that arise on the pleco rack. So let's go down to the issue or I think the cause. So we had 
um, these Gara fish here. We have five of them in here. And we had an SAE in here. And these guys like to run around a lot and they like to chase, you know, the fish around. And what happened was, I think that they were beating up on the SAE and he ended up dying, unfortunately. And I did not know that. So the body kind of rotted in here for a little bit, probably bringing up the ammonia in the tank and stressing out a couple of the fish. So these guys were okay except for the SAE. These guys were okay and this is my Starlight. This is my Zebra Plus, my Leopard Pleco. Um, and then over here is my Tiger Pleco uh, rack and these guys were okay as well. Um, so the indicator was actually this guy here and I wanna see if you can kinda of see, yeah, there we go. You guys see his top fin there, it's kinda of just like fray. Um, so normally that's like really, you know, lush, really filled in. So that one started becoming a little fray, so I was just like, what is going on? Um, notice that, so what I did was, uh, I've been doing every other day, about a 50% water change to help um, kind of just, you know, cleanse or remove whatever was in the system from, you know, the ammonia spike or whatever it is, uh, to help with that. And so, this is, um, today actually is going to be the second day I'm going to do the water change. Um, and hopefully, you know, he's going to recover from this. So unfortunately, he does have some fray in his fin. Uh, but we do have some good news. Because of all the water changes and the temperatures is starting to drop, we did um, have some breeding action in the, this cave here. Along with some other ones as well, right? We had a clutch egg that got kicked out that I didn't even notice. Um, maybe we have another one. I'm just going to browse real quick. Nope, we don't see one. Um, but they're going to breed a lot more often for us just because it's, you know, colder water, water changes, and um, these guys just love, love, love water changes. So hopefully we get another clutch from the Starlight just because our first uh, two batches, you know, not, you know, a lot of them did survive, but, you know, obviously not many of them made it to kind of like the two inch mark or whatever so I would like to get another clutch from here and I would really 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 love to get a clutch from the leopard frog pleco as well so we'll hope we'll keep our fingers crossed there we did have a couple of them from last year um, but unfortunately those guys didn't make it so hopefully we can get some more um, eggs from these guys so that's what's going on with the pleco rack so you know, hopefully things turn around with these water changes. I did turn off the UV. In the back here, I do have a giant sterilizer uh, that I run on the system here. I did turn it off just in case that if I wanted to do any uh, medical treatment. Uh, I may drop in Paragard um, just to help with the fins and whatnot and maybe some stress coat. So I did turn that off for the time being until uh, we we're done with treatment or our, these giant water changes. And then afterwards, I'll turn that back on and, and you know, let us do a thing. Then, you know, afterwards, I'll, I'll turn that back on. That's been working really well. Uh, I recommend if you guys are running a giant system with a bunch of fish um, and you don't want an outbreak um, in any parasites or whatever, or even algae. Well, obviously, we have plecos, so they're going to eat the algae. Um, but if you don't want any outbreaks, definitely get a sterilizer for your system. Here's another quick shot of the fry before I actually let them go in the tank here because most likely once we drop the fry in here, they're going to be blending in here. They're going to be, you know, all over the place and you're not going to be able to see them. Yeah, as you can see there, just cute little fry. But yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go here. That is the update for the week. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed. I'll call you next time, guys. Peace.